Let's talk about how to view and monitor your usage on Bursell and get alerted and take action as your spend increases. We're gonna talk through soft caps, usage alerts, hard caps, and some of the tools that we give you to better manage your spend. One of the best and most challenging parts of a serverless architecture is that it can scale on demand. So I'm not spending money for infrastructure that I'm not using, and it can scale up if something goes great and my site gets a ton of visitors, but that's also challenging if I'm running a small project and I'm not expecting a ton of usage. I wanna really limit my amount of spend on that project. And that's why it's so important that we give customers, we give y'all options for how you view your usage, get alerted on your usage, and also take action on your usage. So what I'm looking at right now is our usage dashboard on Vercel. I'm just looking at my personal website right now. And we have a bunch of different buckets for all of the different categories of usage on our platform. So the one at the top is supposed to be kind of a high level overview, just seeing some of the top paths on my website. So I can see that I'm you know, incurring a lot of usage for my open graph image generation, uh, for optimizing images. I can click in and see which functions are incurring the most on-demand usage. So how long I'm running compute, uh, which ones have the most invocations. So the number of requests to these, or just the number of total requests to the edge network to Vercel for different routes, whether it's HTML files, JavaScript files, anything inside of here. So the usage page is meant to give you a breakdown and really understand what's actually incurring usage on your site so you can help optimize and dig into where that spend is coming from. So for example, I'm on a pro plan on Vercel, and as I start to incur usage, as more traffic starts to hit my site, Vercel's gonna start sending me out alerts as I'm starting to approach the amount of usage that's included in the base package. Now, the great thing is that I can pay on demand for additional usage, my site doesn't have to go down, and we're gonna try to alert you and let you know both through email or in notifications in the dashboard when this happens. So for example, I had 75% of the included usage of my analytics. I got this email that was letting me know, hey, if this is expected, great, you're getting some good traffic. If not, let's talk about the options that we have. Inside of our settings, we can fine tune and tweak the type of notifications that we wanna get. So for any of the different items in Vercel, the different products that send out these usage notifications, you can go in and change and maybe you wanna turn on some or turn off some alerts, you can do that through here. Now, those default alerts are helpful, but they don't solve every case. So I wanna walk through some new functionality that we've added to allow you to further control your spend. And I'm gonna start with recursion protection. So functions on Vercel and middleware or doing rewrites, all of these things now understand if you're doing a recursion and try to help prevent this kind of user error from happening in the first place so that you don't have to be on the hook for that bill. Another thing we've changed based on your feedback was how we handled the free tier included usage for image optimization. So if my site goes viral and I wanna stay on the free tier, but I was optimizing a bunch of images, well now only the additional image optimizations generated will fail. Your site will not be paused from that excess traffic. So if you do want to get your image optimization back on, you could upgrade to Pro, or you can turn off image optimization as well too, if that's not as important for your site. But the big one that we recently added that so many of y'all had been asking for were the ability to set soft limits and get alerted on a specific spend that you define or have the ability to take action based on that spend through some kind of programmatic decision. And we're calling this spend management. It's been out for a few months now and we've been iterating on it based on your feedback as well too. And I wanna show a demo of how this works and talk about why it's important. Now, this isn't necessarily a new idea. All of the popular cloud infrastructure providers give you tools to manage your spend, to manage your budget, and understand how you want to deploy your resources across your account. AWS has a budgets feature. It gives you some you know, charts and some data that help you understand where your usage is coming from and how you want to take action on it. So not necessarily something new, but a very, very important thing for for you, for customers to feel comfortable deploying workloads on Vercel and managing that control. So for example, inside of my project for my site, I have a spend management set up here configured, mostly because I'm testing it, but also because it's good to know. So I set a spend limit of $10. I've turned this on for my site, and any time that I go over $10, I want to have a soft cap. So if I go over $10, I want to get emailed. I want to know that I'm incurring additional usage. 
And I can see right here, based on the current billing cycle, based on my last billing cycle, I'm spending about $100 on my site. So it gets a decent chunk of traffic, which is awesome. Um, and if I go over to my email, for example, I see that you know on February 8th, I actually hit the 100% coming in at $9.93. This isn't like every 12 hours or every 24 hours. We want to alert you as soon as possible. So the real-time nature here is very important. And I get this email that says, hey, if this is okay, I can do nothing. This is just a heads up. It's a soft alert. However, if I want to take action on this, I can go and pause my site. I can delete my site. I can you know, do something differently. In this case, it's more of a heads up just to know and feel comfortable that I'm tracking my spend. But going back to here, let's say that I do want to pause my site. I do want to take action when we go over this spend. And I want to be able to have the control to do that programmatically. So that's why we give you the option to set a webhook. So with this webhook URL, we can send a post request to some API that you define in your app. This is gonna give you a lot of flexibility. You can decide to put up a maintenance mode screen. You can decide to actually pause your project in Vercel. You can decide to really do anything you want here. And I wanna show a demo of that now. So I deployed a brand new Next.js project. I just called it test pause project. And we're gonna pull up the terminal and we're gonna actually make some API calls here. So I went ahead and made an access token for my account and I scoped it to my team and I set an expiration date. And then I grabbed the project ID and the team ID that I'm using for my account. And we give both a pause and an unpause API. And I wanna show what that looks like. So if I call the pause API, given all of these credentials, it's gonna to go to my deployment, test pause project. And if I reload the page, I'm going to see this pause site. It's gonna say service unavailable. The site has been paused by the owner. This gives me the ability to effectively shut down my site when a limit has been reached. So maybe it's when I hit that $10 limit or maybe I wanna set a different limit. And that's great. That gives me a lot of flexibility. Now I can either go in and manually unpause this or I can wait for my billing cycle to reset. I'm gonna go in here and call this unpause API. Again, same credentials and go back over here, reload the page and my site is back online. So this API call can be part of a Vercel function, part of an API that gets called programmatically as part of spend management. So this can be your hard cap for your project. The full API docs for this are on Vercel's site. We also have docs about spend management in general in case you wanna learn more. In this instance, it was basically just that simple fetch function and my site got paused. So I got this email that says February 18th, my project was pros, you know, click here if I wanna learn more and go to my dashboard. So pretty simple here, but I think it's important to show that off. By the way, you can also turn on SMS notifications for spend management as well too. So I also get text when my site is reaching my soft limits. Again, just so I know about it, if I wanted to, I could then go take action on those. And actually just let me pull up my text here. So here's my text from the Brussel team telling me I've reached 100% of my spend limit. Now, the final bit here that's more philosophical, but I think very important to our approach to open source and to cloud infrastructure is that we believe in what we're defining as framework defined infrastructure. And what that means is that I write my framework code and the deployment platform like Vercel automatically generates the cloud infrastructure based on my framework code. Now, what does that mean for a developer? That means that I'm not writing infra as code tools, whether it's a Terraform or CDK or some of these other tools like that, where you're explicitly defining what the infrastructure is that you're scaffolding. We think that's great for certain types of applications, but specifically for your front end code when deploying to a front end cloud, we think that this framework defined infrastructure is just a little bit better because it gives you the best portability. If at any reason you decide, you know what? I wanna take my Next.js workload somewhere else. I wanna move that open source Next.js code and I wanna take it and put it on a server somewhere else. The great thing about framework defined infrastructure is you haven't been writing a bunch of Vercel specific code to make it work on our front end cloud. Instead, you've been writing Next.js code, which is entirely open source that you can take and put on an OGS server somewhere, on an S3 bucket somewhere, if you're doing a static version or in a Docker container and really ship it anywhere you want. So it's a little more theoretical, but I think it's really important to our philosophy for how we think about cloud infrastructure. For example, when you're deploying a Next.js or other framework app, to Vercel, the outputs from that framework from running a build get turned into cloud infrastructure like Vercel functions. So our functions are our compute product, 
I have a server rendered page or I have an API inside of my Next or Spelt Kit or Nuxt app. Those get converted into Vercel functions and Vercel functions can incur usage and cost on Vercel. So I'm deploying my Next.js app. I want to monitor my usage. That gets turned into Vercel functions and I can set up soft caps or hard caps with spend management to understand how that Vercel function usage and spend is trending over time. So this is kind of all over the board in this video because there's a bunch of different topics around how you view and monitor your spend and the tools that we have with spend management. But I haven't really talked about this enough on the channel. And if you want us to talk more about ways to control your spend, more things about serverless architecture, or you have any feedback on these tools so far, I'd really like to hear it. Pricing and tools for managing your spend is very top of mind for us and something that we want to continue investing in. So we'd love to hear your feedback. Hopefully you found this helpful and see you in the next one. Peace.